everyone, today I am very excited because we're going to be talking about a new vinyl subscription service called Bandbox. Hey, I'm Annie and this is Why You Should Love Music. I have tried a couple different vinyl subscription services in the past. They all have their differences. I feel like they all have their own little pros and cons. So let me tell you a little bit about Bandbox. So Bandbox is $49 a month and they'll send you two LPs from the same artist and it's a critically acclaimed artist that they chose to feature for that month. And they also send it with a magazine about the artist and a track-by-track -track listening guide, which I'm very excited to explore and see how that's written and laid out. As far as customization goes, you can connect your Discogs so that way they never send you an album that you already have in your collection. I haven't done that because I'm lazy and I never keep my record collection up to date online, but I need to do that. Um, and also, if they do send you a record that you happen to d dislike for whatever reason, then you can actually send it back and exchange it for any of the vinyl that they have in stock. So that's also very cool. For the featured artist of the month, they do post hints and stuff on Facebook. Have not looked at that yet, so this is going to be an entirely new surprise for me and you together. Assuming you don't know what this is. If you already know, then I will be the only one surprised. Okay, it is quite a hefty packaging, and unfortunately, because I live in a ridiculous place, it is, oh, it glued back shut. The glue on this, when I got it from the mailbox, it was completely open because it glued shut, but apparently it's cool enough in my house that the glue has recongealed itself, so that's good. So I'm also hoping that everything's in here, but that's not the fault of Bandbox. That's the fault of me for living in a place where mid-September gets to 110 degrees. I don't know what that's about. Okay, so yeah, this is... <laughs> There we go. Alright. Okay, let's find out what's in here. Bubble wrap! I love bubble wrap. That's not the most important thing. Oh, this looks so exciting. Okay. Hey Annie, thanks for being on this mysterious musical ride with me. See what I did there? I see what you did there. If you like what you hear, catch ride on tour this fall. Alex Rice. Very cool. Did not know. Do not know ride. But I'm very excited for this mysterious musical ride. Okay, the first album, Going Blank Again. He is living his best life, and I, I, want, I want that for myself. 1992 album, so it looks like this is probably like the classic ride album. I don't know. And then, this one, This Is Not A Safe Place. The little black vinyl with full album download. Cool. I'm really into the back of this. All right, what, oh, so much. There's also a band box sticker. Very cool for my sticker collection. And, ah, so many things. Poster, oh yeah, I forgot to mention that. Um, <laughs> I forgot to mention that besides the two LPs, they oftentimes will just throw in random freebies like this poster, which is very cool. Oh, so this album was just released last month. Just found out. Band Docs, issue number three. So this one will tell me about the band, I assume, so I wanna go through that first. Went to Reykjavik, I'm jealous. Cool, your boots. This is so cool. Okay, I have no idea why I've never heard of this band because it sounds like they're right up my alley. And also, this is super well-written and fun. It's like an informative little journey of an introduction to the artist. I feel like I've just lived an entire journey through that. Love it. Okay. Fan talks. Obviously I'm going to be reading this while I listen to it track by track, but I just want like a sneak preview of what this is. <laughs> this is so cool! It's essentially like a track by track conversation slash interview. This is going to be the greatest experience of all. This is going to be the greatest first listening experience ever. I don't want to keep reading because I want to be surprised while I, I want to experience this all at the same time. And I'm so excited about this. Okay. I have read through the magazines and I'm fully convinced that this band is directly up my alley. Like 90s shoegaze, pop, rock, yes, alternative, I'm about that. So I'm going to actually open these up and take a look, give you guys a look at what's inside the vinyl. Now if you were planning on returning one of these, don't open the plastic thing. 
because you'll want them to be like in good condition if you want to return it. But after reading through the magazines, I'm convinced that I'm gonna wanna keep both of these, so let's open them up. The cover on this has a cool matte finish. I don't know why I obsess over textures of things, but I do sometimes. That's a lovely photograph. So here's the front, here's the inside, and here is the back. Don't blank again. Ah, very cool. So inside they have a lyric insert and, and a bunch of credits and some writing, recording credits, stuff like that. Oh, this is a nice thick vinyl. Oh, cool. I don't know what I expected, but it wasn't that, and I love it. Oh, this is a pretty heavy weighted vinyl. It's got a good, good weight to it. I wonder if this is pressed to 45 instead of 33 because it's only got a few tracks per side. Either way, it looks like a really clean, really nice pressing. Oh, we're spelling. Why am I so slow? I understand how English works. They're spelling the word right. Wow, that took me a little too long to figure it out. Um, again, this is like just a really clean, nice, solid pressing. I would guess it's a standard weight. This one weirdly feels thinner than the other one, but that is probably in my head. This one, this side is a little bit crunched, but inside it's perfect. Okay, and these are two double LPs too. Okay, here is their more recent work. This is not a safe place. Oh, this one is also three dimensional. The lyrics poke out. I don't know why, texture is a big thing for me. This one is glossy with like protruding words. Did I call the words lyrics? Wow, my brain is not turned on today. Ooh, there's so much stuff in there. I want to live in his little sound booth. It's like a wonderful sound recording tent, but it looks like a happy place. I'm sure he doesn't feel that way after he's been recording for like hours, but looks like a happy place. All right, and here is the back. I'm digging the little symbols on each track. I'm a fan of those types of things. Okay, this is also a double LP. Ooh, I love the black sleeves. Style points. Alright, again, really clean pressing. This looks quite comparable. Very similar to the last disc. Oh, and also the inside of these little sleeves have like this plastic covering, so it's like double protection. That was kind of them. Oh, nice. Lyric insert. Oh, it's very thick. Lots of credits as well. Thank you note. More thank you, more thank you, more thank you. So many thank you notes. They're so full of gratitude. Very awesome. And here is disc two. Ah, so cool. All right, side C and side D. I am so excited to listen to this, and especially I'm excited to listen to that one with the track by track commentary. Very stoked about that. Okay, that is September's band box. I'm very excited to dig in and listen to it. The vinyl are both in really good condition, really well made, and I love the magazines. I usually don't really care so much about other people's opinion as I do about just listening to the music, but those two magazines actually I feel like add a lot of value and quality, so I'm like actually super excited about that. You can tell that like a lot of love was put into them. People who are passionate about music, that like you can really tell it really shines through the product. So. I'm super happy with this. I feel like this would be really good for people who want to expand their record collection in a passive sort of way. Some people don't have the time or energy or knowledge to really like curate their own specific collection. So this would be really good for passive record collection expansion and also just people who are like adventurous and look for something new. Like this was really fun. I have no idea why I don't know them. Uh, but I had never heard of them, and now I'm like super excited because I feel like I'm gonna really love their stuff. If you guys are interested in checking them out, for the first month you can get 50% off with promo code Annie in the description. It just says the word Annie, but you might want to check because I spell my name weird, so it'll be typed out for there's no confusion there. 
Um, anyway, yeah, I'm very excited. I have some goes. I have some great stuff to go listen to. I'm gonna probably get like the most fantastic snack I can think of, and then just go enjoy that experience. And I will see you guys next week.